Okay, in the square grid below, PQ and QR are straight lines. So measure and write down the size of angle PQR. Okay, guys, uh, I, I will show you how to how to measure PQR because uh, I, I can't put a pro uh, a projector onto the onto the screen. Okay, so I'm sure you can do it. Okay, we have learned it in P4. So um PQ and QR form two sides of a trapezium PQRS. Uh, PS is parallel to QR. So PS is parallel to QR. So basically, um, let me just roughly sketch out how does the parallelogram looks like. S is supposed to be somewhere here. So PQRS is a uh, is a parallelogram. But sorry, guys, we are looking at trapezium. Okay. So PQR PQRS. So this S can be anywhere. Okay. But uh, what we have to say is that it has to be parallel, okay, parallel to QR. So and PS is actually twice the length of QR. So can you see that QR, right? It is actually one, two, three, four, five. You see five units to the right, and it's one unit down. So if it's twice, right, we just have to draw QR two times from P, then that should be the answer. So we can start counting. Mm, maybe I can just draw the, the arrow for you. So we have to move to the right one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then after that I have to go down one unit. Okay, guys, if we were to draw from here to here, that will give us that will give us uh, one, one uh, as in the exact length of QR, but we want the we want PS to be twice, that means twice means two times, right? So we will go one more, one more time, one, two, three, four, five, and then we go down. Okay, so if we were to draw a line to this point, that will be PS. Let me just show you from here all the way to here. You can see that these two lines they are parallel. Okay, and it is two times the length of PR. So of course uh we can just close the diagram to form a trapezium. Okay. So now if we were to erase all the all the arrow that I just I just drew, right? Can you see? It's a perfect tra uh, trapezium where these two QR and PS they are parallel and please remember to label the point s okay so that's the answer